Hey guys, back for part two of this tutorial series on Atavis MMO Creator. So for the package for both the server and the client part, there's three ways to get them. Uh, you can get them on the neojack.com website, you can get them on Steam, or you can get them on the asset store for Unity. Uh, so what I did, uh, I've used the Steam version. Uh, so if you go into your library and you go onto the Atavis MMO Creator and you hit launch, and it's gonna ask you, you can just select the normal window, that's perfect. So if you didn't do it, you'll need to create an Atavis account. Then what you wanna do is extract the Atavis files. So it's gonna you ask you where you want to extract it. I'll just extract it in that folder. And let's give it a couple of minutes. And then you'll need to extract the SIGWILL file, so the same. So I'm going to extract them here. And you'll need to download Unity. We'll do that in part 3 of this series. So now you can just close this and close that. Okay guys, so these are the files that were extracted from Steam. You have the server, you have the Unity package, and you have SIGWIN. Let's start with the server package. Uh, I'm using 7-zip, so I'm going to extract it to the server folder. I'll do the same with the SIGWID. Okay guys, both packages have been extracted. What you'll want to download next is exempt server. So if I go onto the internet, so once again, the links are provided below, so you can just download the exam server latest version. I've put a link below if you didn't know. I already downloaded it. And here it is. So we'll just install that package. That package has everything you need to work for. Uh, you have MySQL, you have an Apache server, uh, you have PHP my admin that we'll use later on, and everything in the convenient package, so you don't have to install everything once by one and if you don't know how to set up MySQL server it's really really helpful. Okay so you see just when I try to install exam it says that I have the UAC that's the user account control uh, protection file so I'll just install it right away so MS config here and if you check down you have tools and change USC setting so I'll just launch this and I'll disable everything about the user account setting so it's not recommended and this is just for it to run better off if you can just install MySQL by your own and you can do the config but it's, it's for people that don't want to mess everything up so So it's going to ask you to restart your computer. I'll do it after I've just installed that package. So let's install everything that's here. That's really OK. Just hit Next, and I'll install onto the C drive. So that's going to take a couple of minutes. I'll just do a little cut in the video. I'll come back after it's installed and after I rebooted the computer. So the USC is not running anymore. So I'll see you in a bit. OK, guys, my machine just rebooted. Um, what you want to do next is open the XAMPP control panel. I've already opened it over here. Um, I click Start on the Apache. What you'll get is a Windows security alert. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to open your Apache web server. So let's put it on private and the public network. So allo access. And then you want to start your MySQL. And you'll want to start the Tomcat. Uh, you don't need FileZilla or Mercury. So I don't know why the Tomcat's not starting. Yeah, okay. So that's because it was waiting for the firewall to be unblocked, so allo access. 
uh, we'll click on the admin here. So this will bring us to localhost.phpMyAdmin. And what we'll want to do is import and browse computer. And then get your package that you've already decompressed. So mine are under downloads package Adavis, the Adavis server. And if you go under here and you see SQL, you have the tree that you want to use, the four that you want to use, sorry. So let's start with SQL install and go. So this is the first one, so you'll have to do that for all the other files. So admin SQL, then go. Third one, at and the last one, but at the least, world content. So that one's going to take a little bit longer. It's a bigger SQL query. Okay, so that's done. So you can see we have well content here. We have um, the admin, Adavis, and master and well content. So you'll need to go into master here, open that up, and to world. Okay, uh, after you open world, so you'll need to browse. And I have only one one line here, I'll click edit and here where it's written localhost change this to the no IP the DNS you made with no IP so for me it's at avis.cgp.com yours can be whatever address you've put in when you created your no IP and hit go Okay, so you see that's been changed here. So next what we want to do is we want to create a new user as root doesn't have access to all these database from outside uh, your local host. So we'll need to go into users and we'll add a new user. So this username can be whatever, I'll call it Adavis. And let's say any host can connect to that use a password that you want to use so for example I'll, I'll use pass for me and a special character and let's ask it for it again fast for me and it and then what you all check all and that's not for security so that user has like all the privilege uh, so make sure that if you want to have something really secure you check out how SQL works so I'll hit go so this user Adavis here has all the privilege on everything so you can see here uh, what it does it grants all privilege on all database that this is done I'll close this and then we'll go uh, take our package and take that package and you can just copy it back on the C drive directly so that's what I'll do okay now you s open that up you go into bin and then we need to change three files so you'll have the odd property file that you'll need to change and you'll have the world properties here that you'll need to change and the last one will be the content admin connection so let's start with this one I'm using that that plus plus okay so that's what you get in here 
So the password, like I told you guys, I'm using pass for me uh, with exclamation mark. And the username, the one we created, at Davis. And the rest you leave it like this. Then go to the second line here, same here, pass for me this and then the user is at the list. Then hit save. Next what we want to open is the odd property, so same thing. There's a lot of different things, but here you can see that you need to change the user, so at the list. Password pass for me and same thing you go a little bit lower here and add this and then we'll need to remember always to save your file and then we'll do the world properties Uh, this, the only thing you'll need to change here is to put your no IP on that line here. So mine is at evis.scgp.com. And if you go down, here again, you'll need to change the user to at evis. Sorry about that. So you need to change the user to Adavis, the password. That's for me. And the rest is okay. So once again, you'll need to save that file. And now we can just close that. Okay, so next what you want to do is take SIGWIG. Uh, what I want to do is I'll put SIGWIG directly on the C also. Okay guys, uh, I had to cut a lot of the video. There were some mistakes when I tried to start SIGWIG. So I'll show you what I did. Uh, first what you want to do is whenever you get into your admin here, and you check your user. We already created the one at host anything. You'll need to add the same user at 127.0.0.1 and the same user again with localhost. So it's really easy to do. It's gonna say that you already have that user. So if I write down add this again and then it says but you'll have to specify here once localhost like this and grant all and create that user and use text field and then you'll want to type 1.127.0.0.1 1 grant all, check all here and do go that was the first mistake secondly whenever you go into command prompt so just type cmd here uh, what you want to do is java minus version if you have an error here I'll show you how to fix it but in the first preview uh, video, I've installed the 64-bit version of the GDK and the GRE. You need to install the 32-bit version of those, not the 64 version, as SIGWID will not be able to use the 64-bit as it is compiled for 32 bits. If you have an error here, what you want to do is go to my computer and then uh, you right-click properties advanced system setting and environment variables here and then I already did it so you'll need to create a new one like this and it's going to be called java underscore home as this one is here and then you'll point to your gdk path so if you don't know you just go into computer go into your program files java whatever version is here, the GDK, 
then copy and then you'll just need to paste that here and also afterward you'll need to go to your path or here uh, the last after the last one put a semicolon like this and then a percentage java underscore home percentage backslash bin that will add a path to your window computer so it knows where to find java and the last thing you'll want to do is another time open up the command prompt then ping and make sure that whenever you type your no IP address that you've created before it does ping back to your computer or else it will not be able to start correctly so let's try that you can always do a shortcut on your desktop it's easier afterward so I have Sigwin open then what you're going to do is cd space dot dot cd space dot dot you'll see I'm at a slash point right now so you can do cd space c semicolon like this enter then cd at if you press a tab key on your keyboard the, it's going to autocomplete then go into your bin and then what you want to type is dot slash out dot sh minus v minus c then space then start first time you're gonna run it you'll see there's a lot of stuff going on that's normal I've already studied once so it won't ask me again but the first time what you want to do is after everything has been seen on screen you're gonna type stop like this and then you're gonna start it again okay and then what you want to do is the same command but just change the first to world like this you'll see a couple of those starting up and you'll see at the end there's going to be a message saying done initializing if everything is right you'll see it if not you'll have to make sure that all the previous step I showed you I know it's really I done it real fast but I got those problem especially when you try to run a start a new computer if you install a new package every time you do some stuff there's some bugs that can be created so once again as you can see I have done initializing can now log in so this complete part two of this tutorial I hope it helps I know it's gonna be a big and long tutorial if you have any question or comment don't hesitate to write them down there in the video description or video comments I can also be reached on the forum at atavisonline.com and I hope it helps so once again my name is Jean-Sébastien Charles thank you for watching bye bye